The town of St. George, also called St. George's, is Grenada's capital. At several instances during the course of the island's history, the harbor and town have been commented on by visitors. In September 1700, the Dominican priest Labat visited Grenada and later wrote in his book that if Barbados had a harbor as large and as convenient as this, it could be called the best island beyond all comparison. During the hurricane month, St. George's Harbor afforded shelter to various ships, and this fact was highlighted by Prince William, the third son of King George III, when he came to Grenada in April 1787. In November 1790, the Methodist missionary Dr. Thomas Cook visited Grenada. Later, he expressed in his book that the town planning enacted after the destructive fire, with requirement that houses be constructed in brick, gives the St. George's an appearance of great uniformity and beauty. The British parliamentarian Sir William Young Jr. visited in March 1792. He wrote in his diary, St. George's is a handsome town, built chiefly on brick and consists of many good houses. In March 1796, Lieutenant Colonel William Dyot came to Grenada along with his regiment to fight Fedon's rebels. While he was on Richmond Hill, he described in his diary the appearance of the town and surroundings as one of the most picturesque, beautiful things he ever saw. In the 1800s, the town of St. George was mentioned in several books. Henry Nelson Coleridge wrote the book Six Months in the West Indies in 1825. And in it, he stated Grenada is perhaps the most beautiful of the Antilles. He also stated that... Frederick Bailey, in his 1830 book, Four Years' Residence in the West Indies, declared that the town, as seen from the bay, appeared more beautiful and well-built than any other of the West India towns he had witnessed. Charles William Day was not impressed with St. George's and wrote about it in his 1852 book. The prominent English novelist Anthony Trollope visited Grenada and wrote in his 1859 book. He also wrote that St. George's is more like a goodly English town than any other that he saw in any of the smaller British islands. It is well built, though built upon steep hills, and contains large and comfortable houses. The American naturalist Frederick Ober visited Grenada and wrote in his 1879 book, St. George's, Harbor and Town is highly picturesque. William Agnew Patton, in his 1887 book, Down the Islands, A Voyage to the Caribbees, considered St. George's a romantic town. However, the historian James Anthony Froud was another who was not impressed with St. George's. He wrote about it in his 1887 book. And finally, Henry Hesketh Bell, an employee of Grenada's Inland Revenue Department from 1883 to 1889, wrote the following.